is a bent upon social service. In front of my house, uh, there is a sweeper's colony. He used to go there and help them. Food for all, that is his project. And if any accidents happen, anywhere in Mysore, he was the first to go and offer his blood. To hypothetically do an analysis about Sadhguru when he was at that age would probably be wrong, but one thing was very clear that he had clarity of thought when he spoke or when he addressed any subject, whether it be a normal day-to-day -day affair or, or any other subject that he wished to speak on, he always had clarity of thought. So in those days, was very praying and he used to go up the hills and come back in no time and he used to take some of his friends also along with him. Those days were very different and uh, uh, he was enjoying life then, those days. When we were newly married, he used to help us a lot to take care of the shop. Mm -hmm. So that he used to say, you both go wherever you want, I'll take care of the shop. Because even he was an youngster, no? Even he, he, uh, he will have his own. Uh, but still, he used to sacrifice so many things to make us happy. One day I went to the market. That uh, shopkeeper, he saw me and then this boy. Sir, who is this boy? Yes. I told him, he is my son. Are you a poor Lord Allah? Kya hai? <laughs> he asked me, sir, this man, this boy comes in near my house and catches cobras. I have seen it with my own eyes. He might have mistaken, I said. No, sir. So, two, three times I have seen him. He has catches cobras and all that, sir. Be careful. I feel that he is one of the few people who should address more and more human beings because when he addresses human beings and when others, others address human beings, he addresses human beings and the human being understands. For me, he is no more a brother-in-law. He is an ultimate, I can say. <laughs>